Hey everybody, Chad with FNE Collector Auto Auctions. We're here to show you a very, very special consignment today. We're here with our new friend Jeannie and her 1937 Ford pickup that you have a pretty long history with. Yes, I do. I really do. My um, <clears throat> dad bought this pickup in 30, 1937 and his idea was he needed, he needed something better than what he was farming with because to haul the wheat to town and he would cut the wheat and my mom would haul the wheat. It's been in the family for ever. Well, since it ever was since new. That. Yes, and you've ever even, since it was And you've new. even got some of the paperwork from when your dad bought this truck brand new. I still have the title. My mom gave me the title. And it's not that bad a shape. It really isn't. Well, you've had it inside. It's, it's, yeah, so it, it's, it's been inside. It, it's not really rusty. It's, it's been in a, it was in a wheat fire in, gosh, I don't know what year that was, but it got a little scorched on the other side because it was too close to the, the wheat fire. Well, fortunately, it just scorched a little paint. It didn't burn it up. No, so. <laughs> it didn't. It still run after that. Hauled a lot more wheat after that. And you... It, you and you drove this pickup? Uh, when I was either about 10 or 12 years old, my brother decided to put me behind the wheel because he wanted to, he was doing something else. Unfortunately, I didn't drive too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were only 10, so. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. I'll put it that way. And I can't really remember if I ever drove, drove it after that or not. So you remember driving it as a kid, but that was yeah, about it. that was about it, yeah. So your dad used this pickup regularly? Yes, up and until 1957. So he parked it in 1957? Yes, we had a three-car garage at the farm, and he put it in the, in the garage, and it never came out of there until my husband and I and my son-in-law and daughter helped pull it out of there. And we put it in the storage shed for a while, and then we built this garage. We we put it in here and it's never been out of here ever since that. So when it's been in here for 20 or 30 years? Oh yeah, yeah. So it was parked in 1957, exactly like this. Exactly like that. And it was moved from that garage to another storage and then into this garage. Right. As, as far as this truck has moved in 64 years. Yeah. So pretty amazing pickup. Now it is completely original. Yep. Other than I, we we've seen that the engine has been replaced in it with a with a report a Ford remanufactured replacement. It had a sticker on it. Yeah. But other than that, everything we see here is exactly as it was when in other than a little bit of wear and tear from when your dad bought this pickup brand new. Sure. Uh huh. Right. Everything is everything is original. I don't remember ever replacing anything except the tires. We had in the World War Two. My mom had a hard time even getting a tire for it. So you but remember that? I remember that. The, oh, yeah. The, ra the rationing oh. during World War oh, II yeah. to, get a, to get tires for this pickup. Right, right. She had to have, she came over here. My mom didn't lose her temper very much, but she sure did that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the days. It's, so it's a pretty neat story, and it's a pretty amazing truck to find one like this that hasn't been touched with this kind of history. Yeah. Dad Dad was pretty proud of this pickup because he farmed with horses and trailers all before that time. And this was pretty special to him. Well, to, to get to the point to go from horses to buying a brand new pickup yeah. was, was a pretty big deal. That was. And it, he, it sure was. And, yeah. and, and he farmed here in Central Kansas, correct? Over down a mile and, uh, and a half from the city limits. And so, and this truck was bought new in Central Kansas. Yes. That has literally never left this area no. since 1937 no. when it came in, no. when it was shipped in. No. As far as I know, he bought it here in, in Great Bend. I'm not sure, but I think he did. Okay. Yeah. And according to the paperwork, it was July of 1937, I believe. Right. Was when right. he bought this truck. Right. Yeah. So. He th got that before he got me. <laughs> <laughs> You know how it is with farmers. You have to have the equipment before you can do pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so when were you born then? I was born at the end of July. 
Oh, so very, literally the very end of July. So was, literally right at the same time. Right at the same time. So you and this truck have kind of been together forever. <laughs> we have been. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it's kind of special to me. Well, and it's a very special truck. You just yeah. don't find these that are still with the original family with this kind of pedigree and this kind of history. Plus, we've got your story with it. And you yeah. kind of know the whole story. because I you, know the whole you, story. You... I lived it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I lived it. Anything else you'd like to share about it? Uh, I don't think so. It's your original color. Always remembered being that just being the way it is well we're going to take everybody on a quick walk around and give them a little better look at it thank you for entrusting us with it thank you for letting us help you sure now that the time has come to move it down the road we really appreciate that especially to get special vehicles like this so we're going to take the camera and we're going to give everybody a real good walk around on it thank you for sharing your story it's great it's great to have that with a vehicle this special so yes can i say one more you thing? can say anything you want it was Matt and Barbara Apple, who owned the pickup. That was your folks? That's my folks. So, well, I'm so excited that they took such good care of it over the years, passed it on to you, and here we are in 2021 looking at an original 1937 Ford pickup that isn't perfect, but still in, in amazing condition for, yeah. for its age. Yeah, it is. So... We thank you, we thank you for letting us help you with it. And uh, we're gonna take everybody on a quick walk around this truck and show them some of the details okay. about it. Okay. So thank you. Okay. We'll walk back here and take a quick look at this thing. Obviously this was a work truck. That's what it was bought for. It was bought to do a job. A lot of these things, as we've talked about on some of these other videos, these were utilitarian vehicles. They were bought for a purpose, that purpose was to work. So this truck does show some battle scars of those days, but back then it's what you had to do just like she, Jeannie just mentioned World War II rationing things like that this truck lived it it had to go through it so you didn't always have what you need so there's a few battle scars on this thing but we're going to take a look at it and check it all out we'll start here on the right side still got the wooden sideboards on this thing that they used to haul wheat with obviously when we look inside these beds they are a very shallow short bed they would put these sides on them to get more wheat in them it was a small bed. It was a short bed pickup. There wasn't a lot of real estate in there to put grain in. They added these sideboards to it to add the height to it to get enough grain in it to justify using it to haul to the elevator. As we're, back, as we're standing back here, we can see this truck still has a rear bumper on it, still has the original tailgate on it. We can see the structure of the sideboards that they put in it. There are some hubcaps in the back of the pickup that do go with it. It looks like a few of them are original. A few of them probably were not the originals. Actually, it looks like Based on Jeannie's story, these may have been uh, in the stubble fire right there at the edge. They looked a little bit scorched, but it doesn't look like they hurt anything. So and we'll take a look at the other side of the pickup, too, and show you what she was talking about on that. We'll come down this side. Obviously, the rear fenders, these trucks were used, used hard. The rear fenders definitely took some heat on this truck. We'll work our way up the side. We can see the running boards still look good. We can take a peek inside of it here. Everything in here intact. Seat's still in it. All the dash is still in it. original gauges looks good and clean up here still even has the original cardboard headliner in it it's a little rough it's showing a little age but it's still there after all these years 80 plus years it's still in there same thing with the door panels they're falling apart but they are still there as we come up around the front of this truck front fenders typical of trucks of this era they cracked they were repaired and welded so they didn't get worse and then they were used. Still has the badges on it, the 85 Ford for the 85 horse flathead. As we come around the front, we see this badge up here. The bottom of it is broke off, but it still had the 85 horse badge there as well. The grill is a little rough. It's dented here, and it is missing some bars down here towards the bottom. But it does still have the front bumper on it. still has the horn on it. still has the original headlights on it. As we come up here and look on top of the headlight, we can still see the Ford stamping on the top of the headlight. Take a peek under the hood. Everything here also intact. One thing we do notice here, we got this sticker on it, reconditioned by authorized Ford reconditioner. So I assume that they did put an engine in this truck at one point, even got a 97 on it for a carb. The 
If we look down this side of the truck, it looks pretty good as well. This fender, typical dings and dents. But we really don't see any damage over here from the stubble field fire, thankfully. We can see the paint's a little bit different down here. Maybe it affected a little bit of that. But overall, that's down low. We look at the cab in here. Still looks pretty good. Even the bed back here, you know, still has the original paint on it. This rear fender obviously also definitely took some heat as this truck was used over the years, but that's what happened. That's what these were for. They were utilitarian workhorses. They had to do the job, they did the job. This truck is currently titled on a good clean Kansas title based on the VIN number on the frame. So along with the original documentation from 1937, it does come with a good current Kansas title titled on the VIN number stamped on the frame rail. So shouldn't be any issues with this truck whatsoever. It is completely legitimate. It is exactly as you see it. We've heard Jeannie's story about her folks from 1937 on. We've got the history of this truck. It's an amazing piece. Is it, the, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect because it's original. And you don't find original very often, especially from 1937. So really special consignment. Really hope you guys can be out here, look this thing over in person, check it out see it for yourself see what we've shown you about this truck because it is such a special consignment so we're really excited about it the anthony collector auto auction saturday october 2nd great ben cans the expo complex if you can make it out we'd love to have you here it's going to be a great event the dock is shaping up great be sure to stay up stay up to date with the website feclassiccarauction.com check out what we've got going on there keep an eye on the docket as it builds if you can't be here we would love to have you here, but if you can't make it on Saturday, October 2nd, proxybid.com. Go to proxybid, get registered, and you can bid on this truck with online bidding and have it shipped to you as well. So that option is available if you can't make it here Saturday, October 2nd. So that's what we've got for you on this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the truck. It's a really neat deal. Very special pickup, very special to Jeannie, and it's going to be very special to the next owner that has the chance to become the caretaker of this one family owned, all original, never been out of central Kansas, 1937 Ford pickup. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you soon on the next video.